Hi, everybody. Welcome to the Chai Chi Tai Chi web show. I'm here. I'm Dane Dormio. I am here with my good buddy, Andrew Brown. And we have an exceptional woman joining us tonight. Miss Violet Lee is a a Tai Chi teacher, writer, journalist, and advocate for health and wellness. She's the founder of the St. Louis of St. Louis Tai Chi and Qigong for Health. She's uh, a 12th generation Chen style inheritor, and her articles and videos are viewed and enjoyed by hundreds of thousands of people around the world. So it's really uh, it's really an honor to have her with us, and I'm really looking forward to um, to to learning from you, Violet. So thank you for being here. Well, thank you. Thank you very much for inviting me. Can you all hear me okay? Yes. Yes. <clears throat> yes, we hear you. Uh, what, I, I will turn you on to something, though, because it doesn't sound like you have these. Uh, and I don't yet either, but Andrew has these uh, really great microphones called uh, what, uh, Aftershocks. Is that what they are? They're USB. Yeah, Aftershocks. Uh, they hide, well, the, it hides really well under my hair, <laughs> but it actually, it doesn't go in your ear. It rests on your temple and then the, and the, uh, mechanism inside vibrates and that vibration goes through your bone and you hear it so that your ear is open uh -huh. so that you can walk around and hear the cars coming and still listen to the music or have a phone call. I see. <clears throat> Wow. Yeah, cool. <laughs> so if you, I can I can tell you don't have uh, a really great microphone like that, but yes, we do hear you fine. <laughs> good, good. Yeah, well, uh, I have um, uh, been uh, doing the daily uh, free Tai Chi classes uh, online on Facebook and uh, YouTube, um, but I have many challenges, and uh, one of the problems is with the sound and. Um, I have an old computer, and it doesn't do Bluetooth uh, very well. And uh, sometimes it works, and sometimes it just stops working. And without any warning, I have tried um, very things. And uh, I have uh, two uh, Bluetooth um, mic, and I have an L part. But uh, because my computer is too old, mm. it doesn't work with it. Um, yeah, those uh, gadgets very well. So, <laughs> speaking of speaking of your your daily uh, tai chi uh, online tai chi classes, you're doing them regularly, and, and you have been uh, for a while. Like many tai chi teachers, you've um, uh, found been finding new ways to teach online since the quarantine started, and um, and those have just been uh, getting lots of views, which means helping lots of people which is great so uh i want to say thanks and and congratulations for for doing that and we're um we're, we're glad you're uh putting so much of yourself out there i mean you've been doing this one hour long free online tai chi class free on facebook etc uh like you know every day for months um and and that's just such uh such an amazing gift and i'm glad that I'm, I'm glad to see that reaching so many people because I, I know that it's having such a great impact in the world and um, spreading uh, vibrations of peace and, and healing. Yeah, I was quite surprised and uh, at the very beginning because uh, uh, right before uh, this whole pan the pandemic, pandemic things <laughs> happened, I was teaching like uh, 20 some classes each week. And then I got a notification, a lot of places, you know, and they, they want to suspend the teaching there. I thought about my students, they were very, very dedicated on um, learning and practicing. I just, wow, what are we going to do? You know, how about then? You know, they have given up this kind of habit. So then, because I had some remote teaching experiences, so I thought, okay, I'm going to do this, but, um, I did not realize that doing the class uh, live streaming and <laughs> it's quite a lot of stress and uh, quite difficult. Like I mentioned, I have ran into 
all kinds of uh, challenges. And, mm. But the reward is amazing. When I say reward, is well, I definitely know any monetary rewards, and I've been spending my own money and, and running the, the free classes. However, I got pages and pages of um, feedback from um, people all around the world, and uh, right now at least there are 24 um, different countries uh, uh, they participated in these classes, and uh, some people I, I don't know where they, they live because if they are not my Facebook pay, uh, friends, or they don't put in uh, personal information there, so I will not know where they're from. But from uh, what I can tell, that at least there are um, 24 uh, countries and uh, have uh, been taking classes, and uh, there are over 200,000 total views. And uh, so, yes, that's why wow. I'm wrong, and I am really um, grateful and many of uh, the Facebook friends and uh, all just regular friends, they share the classes with their family and friends. And uh, so, yes, and um, I'm pretty encouraged by, by the, the general feedback. Wow, wonderful. That's amazing. So 200,000 people are watching your video. Congratulations. Well, uh, so, yeah. no, 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 there's a difference <laughs> between um, how many people versus how many times? Uh, what oh, I appreciate okay. sure. was uh, uh, 200 total views. Because okay. someone uh, very religious, they, they, they watch it every day, right? And I have done um, like a, a 70 some um, classes already. Mm -hmm. So, the, so the, the total number of people definitely is not that much, but the total views <clears throat> are over 200,000. Well, still, congratulations. That's great. Well, so, in your class, uh, what do you? What kind of class do you do? Do you do like a general Tai Chi class? That's you know, it has to be just follow along, right? So, what are you teaching in your class? Well, excellent question. Mm -hmm. And uh, right now, I am in my studio, and this is my personal studio, and uh, mm -hmm. I practice here, and I also do um, small private lessons here. Mm -hmm. And uh, like for one or two students at a time, it's, it's very, it's quite small. So there's a limitation what I can do um, as far as teaching a form. So mm -hmm. in my class, it's a one hour class. The first 30 minutes, I do uh, the, the warm up and the, and the Qigong exercise because mm -hmm. Qigong mm -hmm. exercise, uh, for most part, you can just you know, standing or sitting uh, doing it. It uh, <laughs> does not require a lot of space. And uh, so, but I'm extremely, extremely fortunate. And uh, I, through all my years as a journalist uh, writing about Tai Chi and Qigong, by the way, I have written more than 600 articles. Most are in English and, uh, and some in Chinese, but most mm. in English. And, uh, so I have global leadership, at least from 40 different countries. So I got to know a lot of great uh, masters, uh, grandmasters, uh, scientists, and uh, you name it. And I have interviewed them, so I so, uh, have uh, built a relationship with them. And uh, so when I decided you know, to, to do this, and uh, I thought, you know, maybe I should invite them. Uh, to come as a guest instructors, and uh, besides, uh, because my studio is so small, I, I have limitation to do uh, certain things, right? But there's also another uh, more important reason <coughs> is because um, as you uh, both practice Tai Chi Chuan, you know how rich this art is. It's, um, it's fascinating, and there are so many different kinds and uh, we, we're always talking about the five uh, or six major um, style, Chen Yang, Wu, Wu, Sun, and uh, He. Um, you know, these are the uh, six major uh, Tai Chi styles. But there are other, oh, I should add uh, seven, uh, also Wu Dang Tai Chi. So there's so many of, of these. And I think uh, um, this will be a good opportunity for uh, mm -hmm. some people exposed to to a, a different kind of Tai Chi, and then they can decide what they want to do, right? So, yes. uh, 
I've been extremely fortunate, uh, my friends, and that uh, they, they they're very busy, and uh, but they, um, you know, they um, just how should I say volunteer, and uh, because I cannot afford to pay them, and uh, for their time and their knowledge, so they they can uh, voluntarily and uh, to teach. So the first thirty minutes I teach, and the other thirty minutes, you know, we have. All different um, instructors teaching all different kind of uh, types. Oh of wow! Yes. All right. You That's great. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I will. <laughs> feedback, so we can do a better job. I'd be happy to. Thanks. So uh, you said that you started Tai Chi how many years ago? When was your first Tai Chi class? <laughs> Almost <laughs> twenty years ago. Oh now, wow! So. <laughs> I don't know as long as you have been uh, longer than me. <laughs> so, but uh, I, I, uh, how should I say? I started with somebody and uh, uh, who wasn't really practicing the authentic uh, Tai Chi Chuan mm. uh, competition style. I, I got a kind of uh, loss for many years. However, I was extremely, extremely fortunate. And then in 2009, I met my teacher, Grandmaster Chen Zhenlei, at the first mm -hmm. International Tai Chi Symposium, which was oh. held at Vanderbilt University. And um, I, I really have to thank uh, the Yang family, Yang Star Tai Chi Chuan family, uh, mm -hmm. Master Yang Jun, put that together. He um, assembled um, the five uh, grandmasters. Uh, they represent each style and also there are a lot of other masters uh, come and then also invited so many um, top-notch scientists and uh, practitioners mm -hmm. with great experience so there were over 400 people there and um, in like uh, um, five days or four or five days uh, and uh, so we learned a lot and um, so yeah and that was the time I got to know my teacher. Yes. Wonderful. Wonderful. Yeah. Violet, I'm curious to hear your your origin story of how you came to Tai Chi in the first place. How did uh, what uh, what was what were uh, what was the course of your life that, that brought you to, to Tai Chi? <laughs> Tell us your life story. <laughs> I, how should I say, um, it, it's funny, uh, my children were going to Chinese language school and uh, mm -hmm. I had nothing to do, right? When they, they are in the classroom and then one year there's one person and uh, was teaching Tai Chi Chuan. I look at that and say, oh, that's quite interesting because, um, uh, how should I say, uh, traditionally, uh, in the movie, we always see Tai Chi Chuan go so slow. It, it did not seem, you know, fit my personality, okay? And I did not like they're quite slow. And that person or uh, that instructor was supposed to do the Chen style Tai Chi. I said, wow, that looks awesome. <laughs> you know? so, so I, I, I studied it and, uh, but, um, but then later on I found out, you know, and the Tai Chi Chuan is much deeper than that. And I also realized when we actually go in very, very slow, it really takes a skill and uh, to do that. And uh, it's much harder to do it slow uh, than fast. And uh, as a matter of fact, you know, during my class and uh, there were a few instructors like Billy uh, Donnelly, uh, Bill Donnelly and uh, of uh, Long Island, New York. And the one day he was doing the, this young style Tai Chi movement. I followed him. Oh my God, my leg was so sore. And uh, if, if people see uh, I practice, uh, you know, uh, you know the Tai Chi us. So my demonstration before, they know I have strong legs. But the, that day I was telling Bill, I said, Bill, this is like a boot camp, okay? <laughs> it's really fun. Mm -hmm. And then we also have like a um, uh, master after do, and he does very slow. 
And then, and the other day, and then Billy Grill, Master Billy Grill, and uh, from uh, Maryland. And, uh, you know, he was doing it slowly. He was like, oh, okay, guys, you're going to scale away a lot of people because uh, when you're doing slow, you understand mm. it's, it's really tough, right? <laughs> yes, <laughs> you know, yes. Right? <laughs> yeah. So that's my story. And, uh, you know, I, I got into to, to this uh, mm. field just by accident. And then the more I learned, uh, the more I appreciate it. And uh, when I went to that symposium, I uh, realized, you know, how Chinese, um, uh, how Chinese, this Tai Chi Chuan, and uh, really tied into the Chinese philosophy and uh, about the nature and about the uh, uh, letting go philosophy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think that's what I really need to have, to just chill, okay? And, uh, but, uh, you know, my personality, as I mentioned, I'm always go, go, go. And, uh, mm. and uh, so, so I, I think it's good. It's good for me. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Right. Yeah, well, it is, uh, it is a, a thing that the people who need these kind of things the most uh, are sometimes the people who, uh, who go deepest with them. Mm. And uh, and if you know if if just imagine if uh, imagine what you would be like if you hadn't practiced Tai Chi. Bad back. back. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm saying you 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 said that. Oh, oh no! <laughs> no. <laughs> no hey, welcome back. <laughs> Okay. Just shuffling <laughs> a little bit. I think we can hear you better now. Okay. I can a little bit closer. Maybe you can hear me better. Yes. I, I think we have a better connection now. Okay. All right. So you've been practicing. So, Violet, you've been practicing for about 20 years. You've written all these articles about Tai Chi. And you've met all these different scientists. So what would you say are the main benefits of Tai Chi? Based on all the science and all the articles you've written and read, what are the main benefits of Tai Chi? Well, uh, I think, you know, Tai Chi Chuan, and um, I'm, by the way, I'm extremely, extremely nerdy, if you don't know <laughs> this yet. Um, I base it, uh, everything on the facts, okay? Mm -hmm. So um, I, I prepare the Books here, you know, and uh, more books, <laughs> books, books, and Harvard Medical School Guide to Tai Chi, okay? Mm, so, mm. Um, based on the scientific study and the uh, Tai Chi Chuan, and um, you know, it's they call it uh, it's meditation in motion. Mm, mm. And uh, as a matter of fact, uh, Harvard Medical School, and uh, they changed it a few years ago. And uh, actually, in this book, uh, it's called it's medi medicine in motion because mm, mm. each one is the continuous movement, right? But through the movement, we actually gain a lot of health benefit. I don't know how I can <laughs> sum it up. I, there are so many of them, you know. And uh, when I first uh, uh, heard about the, the, the Tai Chi benefit is, uh, so Tai Chi Chuan is like vitamins. It's good for everything. <laughs> but yep, is this yep. really good for <laughs> any particular ones? No, Tai Chi Chuan is actually is a, a, a lot more than that you know, for all seriousness. Mm. Okay. So um, I, I was going to write an article, but I, I have not done that yet. And um, I think, you know, Tai Chi Chuan is like, the cell phone, the smartphone, okay? So, um, you know, in the old days, people using the phone, you can only talk, right? And uh, today, you use your smartphone, you talk, you text, you do your uh, social media, Instagram, and you take picture with it, you do everything, and which allow, normally, 
you have to use all different tools and gadgets, you know, like say, in the old day we fax. Nowadays we don't fax, you just take a picture of it and then you shoot it to another person. So the, the smartphone um, really replaced a lot of functionality and of other, you know, tools and then mm. we do it. So <laughs> one day, <laughs> it was funny, I, I, should I say this? Okay, I just said it. Just one, yeah, okay. <laughs> somebody in the family sent me a message. I don't know why that person decided to send me a message because I have written all the articles about the health benefit of Tai Chi, right? So I got this message to say, okay, Tai Chi Chuan is good for people with heart problem. Tai Chi Chuan can boost immunity. Tai Chi Chuan can help people with diabetes. Tai Chi Chuan can help people who cannot fall asleep. Tai Chi Chuan is great for you know, fibromyalgia and uh, any uh, chronic pains and balance and so forth. So I got all these messages like, hmm, you know what? Isn't Tai Chi Chuan like the smartphone for exercise? With one exercise, you can get all these benefits. Mm, I really like that. Good analogy. <laughs> okay, a lot of time, you know, we, we, okay, this is also my gym because my, my, some of my family, they, they're doing this, okay? You <laughs> yeah. do your muscle, you do this. And if you want to, to, to do whatever you want to increase your, your heart capacity, you do uh, running and jumping, doing all different kind of things, right? And uh, but with Tai Chi Chuan, you do one exercise, you get all the benefits. Isn't Tai Chi Chuan the smartphone for exercise? <laughs> <laughs> Right, so yeah, definitely um, the greatest exercise I've ever encountered. That's why I keep practicing because <laughs> it's so right, good. good. Yeah, <laughs> that, that's wonderful, and uh, uh, I'm so glad to see uh, a young person like you and uh, um, enjoy it. And um, and then you've been doing so long. That's great. Yeah. You hear that, Andrew? We're young. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes, yeah. I know. Really <laughs> yeah. I'm looking forward to uh, to to uh, to see, to seeing that in in article form. You said that was an idea for an article that you haven't written yet. Uh, I have not written. I've been very busy with all different things, especially now with the the, the pandemic and the, so people are home and uh, mm. they're very stressful. And uh, so I thought, you know. Um, you know, as uh, Andrew you asked me, uh, Tai Chi Chuan, what it, you know, what's the best? You know, I would say the number one probably is relaxation. Relaxation is very important. A lot of health problems, uh, you know, came about because people stress out, stress kill, right? So Tai Chi Chuan uh, really can help people to relax. So I have. Um, you know, offering uh, these free lessons for people to, to take and uh, so hopefully you know helping them to, to cope with uh, the, the, the fears and the anxiety and the come with uh, this uh, virus yeah mm -hmm. so, let me show you another book okay <laughs> I'm not lack of books so this book is called The Relaxation Response. This mm. was written um, 45 years ago, or published, I should say, 45 years ago. The first time it came out, 19, 1975. And this book has been translated to maybe 40, 50 or more different languages. It was written by uh, um, Dr. Herbert Benson, of another Harvard guy, <laughs> Harvard Medical School guy. And he, you know, he wrote this book and talked about the, the relaxation response in our body. And then he, he, he talks about, you know, because uh, people have an issue to relax. And now we have all kinds of health problems. If we can relax, and how many uh, health problems can be, you know, reduced or decrease or whatsoever. 
So this is a very, very important part of it. And uh, I highly recommend everybody read this book. All right, will do. <laughs> Thanks. So uh, I'm, I'm curious, uh, Violet, about your perspective on uh, what is the importance of uh, of lineage in in Tai Chi? Because something I've noticed is is a question almost all uh, Tai Chi people like to ask each other, uh, and and I uh, have uh, been asked it a lot. If I say I do Tai Chi, and to another Tai Chi person, they almost almost always the next question is, "What style?" and uh, and yes, yes. It's, yeah. it's a thing that people inside of the, uh, in in my uh, observations, the thing that people inside uh, the Tai Chi world put a lot of emphasis on, but uh, but people to people outside, it's just it's all just Tai Chi, and 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 they don't really notice the distinctions. Um, so uh, I was just curious about your perspective on uh, on the the importance of the, the distinct lineages of Tai Chi? Uh, excellent questions. And, uh, well, um, Tai Chi Chuan, uh, it's an art. It's a healing art, as well as uh, martial art. And uh, yet some of the people did not realize that. But I remember one time I was uh, teaching um, at this place, and uh, most attendees uh, well, like seniors, and when I say Tai Chi Chuan is a martial art, they go, oh, I'm not here to do <laughs> street fighting, <laughs> right? Uh, so, um, but it, it, it's it's very interesting, and uh, they, you know, they put uh, uh, these two to, together, they mm. fuse these uh, two things together, and uh, but uh, like a, a lot of art, you know, it's very hard to to say, you know, who is better, right? And but even uh, people study music and people study uh, painting or whatever, and uh, they they go to a certain school and then they get a, a, a diploma or some sort of, um, to to recognize the person's uh, the background, the education background. So the lineage part to me is. Um, at least I know uh, what I'm based on, right? And uh, yes, Tai Chi Chuan, um, even though there are so many different styles, as I mentioned, but the basic mm -hmm. foundations, uh, the principles are the same. And uh, with that being said, still, you know, uh, if uh, uh, John Smith, uh, he's practicing Tai Chi. If I don't know, if he, which style he's practicing, yes, I can judge him by his, if he's uh, following those fundamentals, that's one way. But I, I, there's no way I can tell if he is doing his style correctly, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, so, so the, this way is with the, the lineage, at least, you know, you know uh, what kind of training that uh, person has. But uh, mm -hmm. we don't need to be uh, snobbish about it. Somebody said, yeah, I graduated from Harvard. <laughs> no, <laughs> it, 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 it definitely is not something like that. And if anybody just, you know, uh, is like always, you know, name dropping, I think that's so. Uh, you can go to the, the best school and uh, learn nothing, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, mm -hmm. I always told them, my children, I say, you know, you don't really need to go to a name, you know, a famous name school to get good education. If you mm -hmm. work hard and uh, you you learn everything and a solid, you get good education. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So so that's pretty much my take on it. And uh, of course, as a journalist myself, and I, if I I'm going to interview, say. Andrew, you today and write a story, you know, and I like to know your background. And just like I would say, well, which is, you know, uh, high school you went to, which college you went to, or any things, or where do you work? 
just this kind of question. And then, um, but uh, it's nothing about saying, okay, yeah, I I am so and so a disciple, so right? And the, the, that's just being silly. Yes. Mm -hmm. No, I know what you mean. Uh, there's a definite distinction between Chun style and Wu style. So it's fairly easy to make that determination, but yes. Uh, it, it's always, I was uh, into competition back when I started Tai Chi. Now, my first school was basically a Wushu school uh, founded by Tai Chi players. So there was a professional Wushu class and then there was professional Tai Chi class. So I went to competitions and I got to see lots of different styles, lots of different forms from all over the country. And man, there's some weird Tai Chi out there. That's for sure. <laughs> but uh, yeah, like you said, the, then these judges are sitting there trying to decide, well, which one was better? You know, what what kind of criteria do they go off of other than principles, fundamentals? The, yeah. the eight techniques, five directions, song, you know, how relaxed are you? Is your breathing regular? Is your speed regular? Are you jumping up and down in your speed? Are you coming up and down in your pose? So all these things become critical features of your style. How, how good are your basics? <laughs> That's usually what, I, what it is. Uh, I was... Uh, you know, uh, honored to be invited to uh, judge tournaments a few times, mm -hmm. and uh, some of the smaller tournaments. A larger tournaments is easy because normally they go by the the style, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, mm -hmm. things I practice mostly Chen style. I will do the Chen style judging. But uh, some of the smaller tournaments, they they just lump together. Then, yep. then uh, yes. The first things I go by is the fundamentals, like you said. And then, of course, I also wish the person is, you know, uh, uh, how should I follow what your style is supposed to be. And mm -hmm. uh, yes, I, I agree with you. Some of the people, I could not tell what they are doing. <laughs> 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 yeah. So, so that, that's the reason. And uh, we, we, we want to know. And, uh, which style and uh, the lineage, but uh, I don't see the issue to by any means to, to judge a person, you know, uh, has this skill or um, not so good. Yeah, we're lucky if we find a Tai Chi teacher in America. You know, there, it's one thing to be in San Diego or LA or, or San Francisco, but you're in the middle of Missouri and you're like, oh, I want to learn Tai Chi. Who are you going to go to? The closest guy, <laughs> whoever that is, I don't know. Yeah. Or, 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 them. or, or, or gal. Maybe the enemy was St. Louis. <laughs> uh, as a matter of fact, in St. Louis, uh, we we have a, a few uh, teachers. You know, believe it or not, we have uh, a few dozen of uh, Tai Chi instructors. Oh, great, great. Yes. However, um, I also heard somebody was out there teaching just by after going to a one weekend training, <laughs> that was horrible, right? And uh, but we we do have a few uh, really good um, instructors in St. Louis, and uh, mm -hmm. you probably see if you well, you haven't been to my class. Uh, I have uh, invited to to teach in my class as well. You you absolutely right, and uh, for me, and I I have to go out of town. Uh, to to study and uh, so I first went to um, San Diego for URAD and uh, mm -hmm. I studied with uh, uh, Jesse Tao and Master Jesse Tao and then and I was very fortunate and uh, I was able to study with Grandmaster Chen uh, mm -hmm. in his home in LA he has a home in LA he doesn't come here um, um, the whole time because he travels constantly. Uh, around the world, and uh, he also has uh, several schools in China. So, but um, when he was coming to the U.S., I would go to his home and study with him. Uh, you know, take private lessons, and I continue to study with him. And uh, either here in the U.S. because he he uh, has these uh, so-called uh, um, um, summer camp. The seventh year, you know, we, we will go to the. Uh, some mm. to advance the knowledge, and uh, I I went to China and went to the Chen Village, uh, which is the first place of uh, uh, Tai Chi Chuan. 
And mm -hmm. uh, when Yale to, to be trained uh, several times, yes, it's, it's not easy things um, to, you know, to find a good teacher. And um, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. when you're looking for a teacher, what traits do you look for? I mean, other than their name, he's obviously the lineage disciple, but you know, but the, just my, what do you look for? My first teacher, like I was saying, you know, because I knew nothing about it, I'm just, oh, look nice. So, so I, I started with that teacher and the later I found out um, the teacher uh, was uh, practicing the Pai Chuan more or less like Kung Fu instead of uh, yes. Yeah. So, but uh, uh, I, Again, as I mentioned, I was very fortunate. I, I went to the symposium and then mm -hmm. I realized, oh my God, you know, this is real Tai Chi. <laughs> and I had to unlearn everything I learned and relearn. And, um, but I, I think, that, you know, um, this is for um, everything you learn in life. The teacher needs to be uh, patient. The teacher needs to be passionate about teaching, right? About sharing. And uh, then, of course, the teacher needs to have a good credential uh, himself or herself. Uh, you know, a teacher only got a weekend uh, certification. <laughs> yeah. the, 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 you know, the exercise at risk, right? So I, I think it is important for people to to find that kind of information before you, you, you know, try it out. And uh, in my uh, ten years as a writer, I got so many letters from from readers, and uh, they, they constantly asking me, you know, you know, what kind of teacher <laughs> I should get. And uh, so one of my advice is, you know, you maybe you take a. a try a class with the teacher. And then, mm -hmm. yeah, I don't think the teacher would um, be able to do, offer private free lessons, but uh, I think uh, many of the instructors, including myself, would welcome anyone to come in to take a free lesson. So mm -hmm. you can see if the chemistry is right, you know, some people don't like me because I'm too chatty. It's possible, right? And, uh, and some people, you know, and uh, they, they can find out more. And then you see the, the teacher doesn't listen to students, doesn't get feedback mm -hmm. from students, and doesn't do hands on uh, correction. Okay? Just say, follow me, follow me, follow me, follow me. Right? Yeah. I, I don't know if I'm doing right or wrong, and I need to be told. So, so I guess if you can order a free lesson, that can give you a lot of information about who he is, who she is, you know, it's good at it or bad at it. <laughs> so, so that would be my advice. And what do you think? What do you, you guys are opinion on this thing? I'm an instructor, so I need to know. What you, <laughs> <laughs> well, I've, I've, uh, I've been to probably about 30 different schools in my life. And every single time, yeah, I would, do my best to take the free class or maybe come in and pay like a $15 for one class fee, something like that. And then I like what you said, you let you watch the other students, how they behave around the teacher, how the teacher um, instructs. Are they just, I, I'm a video, just watch me and do your best to copy or do they show one or two moves and then make sure that all the students understand those two moves before moving on. Those are big deals to me because you want to make sure that, you're making progress. <laughs> if you're not getting those corrections, you're never making, you'll never make any significant progress. So that's a good point. Uh, the next thing is I always appreciate a, a, a larger floor, you know, like a wushu, uh, uh -huh. like a, a, a wushu floor is always great uh, or a nice size wood floor. But yeah, if it's too tight, it's always, a, it's just tough to go there. So outdoors or a really nice studio, those are my favorites. Studio, yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, hey, you got a nice wood floor, right? I like wood floors. <laughs> just kidding, just kidding. Yeah, um, well, one of the things about wood floors is uh, for beginners, if you do any of the martial art aspect, the Tui show, or if you try and do any Sancho, san well, a wood floor is much harder to fall on than a nice soft floor. 
So that's a, that's another thing you want to look out for. If they're going to be doing fighting applications, make sure you know how to fall because you don't want to fall in wood if you don't know how to fall. <laughs> it's not very forgiving. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. Dane, what about you? I'm uh, I'm actually uh, uh, curious, Violet, about uh, what. What do you notice uh, as being the differences between teaching Tai Chi online and mm -hmm. teaching Tai Chi in person? Because there's, there's a, there, and I, I've, I've seen a range of opinions that, that exist uh, from uh, some, some people uh, will go so far as to say, uh, Oh, you know, you, you can't teach Tai Chi online. It, it's a it's a scam if you try. Basically, to uh, you know, people who say you know, like they learn Tai Chi online and they love it and it works great. Um, and uh, and and I overall I see it as uh, you know, just kind of different, and there are certain trade offs. Um, but it's it's part of the evolution of the art and humanity as a whole. Um, so I'm curious, what uh, what do you see as, as the differences between um, teaching in person and, and online, and how do you do it differently? Well, uh, again, a very, very good question. And, uh, and partially, I guess, it's my personality. I'm a, um, I always like to make the connection with people, and especially with my students. And uh, when I'm teaching online, definitely it's very hard to get an instant, uh, you know, uh, feedback and uh, connection. And uh, good things with um, <laughs> Facebook and the other tools. And so people send me uh, messages, but um, and also send me email. However, I I think uh, uh, as we talk about, a good instructor needs to provide feedback. Mm. Okay. And uh, I, I have uh, many years of teaching, in teaching Tai Chi. And I have taught uh, at least uh, 3,000 people, uh, both locally in St. Louis and nationwide and overseas. So I have quite a lot of experience. I have taught people with all different levels. I, mm -hmm. My youngest students were seven. My oldest is 106. And I have uh, taught people with uh, um, how should I say, uh, compromising uh, uh, health condition. Immune system, uh, yeah. And even I have taught people with uh, Alzheimer's. So mm. I, I have taught all different kinds of people, right? And so it's, it's very, um, how should I say, um, so I got quite a lot of experience. And uh, I always try to understand my student and then tailor to their needs. But um, teaching online, because especially now I'm teaching um, so many people. Um, you, if you go on my one of my just one uh, a Facebook page, okay, and then you see how many views are there, and every day some of the views has six thousand, seven thousand daily. So there are a lot of people out there. <laughs> I'm pretty sure they all have different capability, right? So uh, mm -hmm. I try my best, based on my experience, to show people um, uh, possible mistakes mm -hmm. that they can have. However, again, based on my experience, I can tell people 100 times and uh, they still will make mistakes because people don't understand what they are doing. And uh, so I... How should I say? I, I told them, you know, videotape yourself and um, mm. and compare. And even then, some people still don't see the difference. If when they see themselves and they see Grandmaster Chen is doing, they think that they. It's the same. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the same. <laughs> oh, right, right. Yes. <laughs> this happens all the time. So. Yeah. That's why, you know, we need to be in person to do the hands-on adjustment. It is so important to do that. Mm -hmm. Of course, um, uh, right now with the, the pandemic situation, and with so many people of all different um, backgrounds, 
whatsoever. It's impossible to do that. And the, uh, that's why also our exercise, we not try, we're going very high level in the teaching, but we are not going to complicated maneuvering because mm. complicated maneuvering, you a lot of time you, you need to up course. I have done um, remote teaching for years, but mm. it's one on one. So I work, you know, when I'm teaching, say, you know, you Andrew, I'm just making an example. Okay, I say Andrew, you just do what you're doing it, and I will take a screenshot and show you what you did it mm -hmm. wrong. Okay, mm -hmm. and now a lot of time I ask them after they 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 learn it, you know, this segment, videotape it, send me, then I will review this frame by frame and telling the person you are a little bit off there. Okay, you did not sit quiet. The one minute is 13 seconds. And I took a screenshot and I sent it back to, to the person. And I showed the person the correct way. So, mm -hmm. so you cannot do this kind of thing when you are dealing with thousands of people. Right? <laughs> so <laughs> that's the difference. And the, the, the easiest is in person because I see it. And even in person, a lot of time I have to because once they move, they forgot, you know, what did they do? And I have to take a, take a, a picture and then say, see, that's what you did. Like, oh, yes, I did it wrong. Let me share a story with you, uh, my personal story, okay? And uh, I'm Chinese, <laughs> in case you guys don't know. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I, I have English class uh, since um, middle school. And uh, after I graduate from, uh, I have a four-year uh, English class in college. And after college, I still, you know, taking English lessons. And I got uh, two uh, master degrees in the U.S. Do you think I got enough English, right? <laughs> but uh, I spoke with a very heavy accent. I still have accent, but uh, much better than before, if you heard me before. So uh, I went to... To a speech therapist, mm -hmm. so the um, the speech therapist was telling me, you know, I I do I don't say thank you correctly because I say thank you like thank, uh, mm -hmm. thank, 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 and thank, oh, thank, so, yeah, yes. So my th sound and s mm -hmm. is the same. So when I say I don't see the difference. I don't think. Uh, and then he, he, she kept saying, thank you, thank you. I said, it's no different than what I said. But it was a very cool. She has this gadget, okay? So she, she had me saying it. So it shows the... The, you know, the waveform. The wave, yeah. a sound wave. And then she said a sound wave. And then put a two and two together. Yes, that's very different. And then, you know... <laughs> All the changes start with recognizing your own problem. I was, I was just, I could not tell the difference. I'm not trying to be stubborn, okay? I just could not tell the difference. But when she played these two on her, her machine, clearly showed me your know, two different graphs. Then I, I sensed, okay, I was wrong. <laughs> Oh, I had accent, right? And from that point on, I think I started to change. And I, I follow her way. And the same thing was learning Tai Chi. A lot of times you're telling students, you know, you're wrong. And they don't believe that. They think you do exactly as you say, right? So you have to videotape it or take a picture and then show them and say, that's it. So back to your question there, I cannot do that with thousands of viewers out there, right? Yeah, well, it's a, a universal trade-off um, that, and just maybe maybe a universal law even that I've observed that um, with uh, whatever you're teaching, uh, the, the most uh, the most potent transmission is direct one to one. The more people you're teaching to, the more you have to 
kind of soften uh, or water down perhaps what you're teaching. And, you know, if you're teaching it to two or five or 10 or a hundred or a thousand people at once. And, and that's just, so it's kind of a, a yin yang well, 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 well. <laughs> built in to the nature of the universe. Do you have a different well, experience? I, I, um, I'm not saying disagree, but I, I think that there's something needs to be added to it, okay? Um, for example, my group classes in St. Louis, I have 40, 50 students sometimes in the class. And most of my classes, I have between 20 to 30 people in the class, okay? I don't change it just because the size of the class. I teach the same thing as I teach one person. The wow. only difference is the class, you know, is an hour. I would not be able to pay close attention to individual and doing individual hands-on adjustment. Mm. That's the difference between a, I'm teaching, you know, hundred people a time versus teaching one person. The quality of teaching is the same. It's the, the message I gave out is the same. The only difference is I will not be able to do the, the individual uh, hands on mm -hmm. feedback. That's the difference. Yeah, yeah, the feedback. Yeah. Right. The attention, the I can, you, you, let me give you a one example. It was funny, um, I was uh, mm -hmm. teaching, uh, Eight sessions of okay, uh, one movement. Okay, let me just demonstrate for you. Okay, so I'm saying, okay, you, you open your arms, turn your palms out, and uh, not turn the body, only turning the head. Okay, and back. So, so one time I just there's one student in my class, he kept doing this. Okay, his body, mm -hmm. turned, the head turned like this. So I kept saying, okay, uh, this is a correct way, okay? This is a bad, bad enough, not can I even do it the incorrect way. So I did this so many times, and that person still doing it wrong. But in that class setting, because uh, I understand that you don't want to call that person out and go to say, hey, Johnny, you did it wrong, right? <laughs> <laughs> that people will feel bad and feel like losing face. But I kept doing that. This is right. This is wrong. I did so many times. And Johnny still did it wrong. So after the class, and then Johnny came to me, and then everybody else is gone. You know, you're the best teacher. I said, yes. Because, you see, not only you emphasize the correct way, you also show us the wrong way. You know, <laughs> oh, it's like, finally, I just love it. Johnny, I said, didn't you know? I was. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He had, you know, I'm, now I'm talking about this person. I could be Johnny, okay? If I did not have good teachers and the correct me, if my teacher did not do those for me, I'd be like Johnny as well. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. this is very common. We human beings just don't realize that. Uh, back um, God, how many years ago, maybe seven, eight years ago, a friend of mine and um, also a Tai, Chi, tai Chi practitioner showed me a cartoon and said, you know, this is what we think we are doing, you know, this movement. And that's what other people think so. You know, there's a different ways, you know. You think that you're doing the right thing, but you're not. Mm -hmm. <laughs> a lot of mm -hmm. people are like that way. <laughs> yeah, so. Yeah, very true. <laughs> uh, Violet, I want to make sure that our viewers know what is the best way to <laughs> Uh, connect with you to uh, to learn from you. Um, what uh, what's what's the the best way for for people who want to stay connected? Well, um, they can um, visit my Facebook pages if they are 
I think like my Facebook pages are all public, and uh, so they can visit me there. And if they will want to see, um, you know, how I teach, you know, they, um, they can uh, look at those lessons. And, um, and one of my students, Norm, always says, Norm says, Violet, I don't care what people call you. I know they call you master. But to me, you are a comedian. <laughs> 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 because I, I I love to joke and you, you, you probably can tell that's my personality, right? Mm -hmm. I, I joke a lot, so so I always make them laugh. So he said, I don't care what people call you, I just think that you are a comedian or something. I said, that's the highest you know uh, praise I can get. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> So, but you, you know what? Some people don't like instructor like me, so chatty, right? So, there you go. So, if people are interested, attend my uh, daily class and see who I am, right? And, mm -hmm. uh, and they, they, they can visit my um, uh, website also. I have two websites. One is about my teaching, which uh, uh, tells who I am and my lineage, but I have. Uh, you know where I have been um, teaching, and um, and then um, you know some, somewhat, something, <laughs> and all or what are the styles and forms I I, I teach, I practice, and uh, their website is violently.com. That's just my name, v i o l e t l i dot com. And then if you are interested in my articles, and uh, you can go to uh, violently tai chi dot com v i o l e t l i t a i c h i dot com. <laughs> I'm not very creative at all. <laughs> Sorry. Quite all right. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, uh, do you have any other questions, Dan? I mean, I I could go on another hour. How how much time do you have, Violet? <laughs> <laughs> I. I, oh yeah, I know. We uh, um, there's uh, there's there's certainly a lot uh, that we could continue to dive into, and you're so pleasant to talk to, Violet. So let's just say to be continued for now, and uh, and keep this bite size. Um, but uh, I I do want to say in particular, uh, thank you again for such. Uh, wonderful uh and 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 lovely presentation at the world tai chi and qigong day online summit mm -hmm. uh about a month ago that was that was uh it was really lovely uh getting to to meet you in that context and and i, I just really appreciate what a uh what a wonderful presentation you did so um well so, thank you for putting that together and that's <laughs> a lot of hard work i know that yeah, thank you, thank you for that, and, and thank you for being here, and thank you for uh, for all, all the great work that that you're doing. I'm glad that we are on the same team in terms of raising awareness, health, uh, and and consciousness on the planet all together, all at the same time, all when the the world needs it the most. So, um, uh, thanks a bunch, and. Uh, uh, and we'll look forward to um, to continuing uh, continuing the discussion at another time. Sure, anytime. <laughs> Thank All you right. very much for having me here tonight. Appreciate it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Pleasure is ours. Thank you so much, Violet. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> <See you soon. laughs> <laughs> yes, thanks. <laughs> Have a good night, everybody. And thank you, all our viewers as well. Thanks for being here and, and thanks yeah. for watching. Have a good night. Okay, thank you. Bye.